you guys came from too, so it's like, like, hello everybody, this is Noli, I'm about to interview the Prince of Gospel, St. Paul, talking about his hot new CD and his single, To Be With My Lord. So, in a minute, we're going to see an interview with the fabulous, the spectacular, the dynamic, St. Paul. Say hi to our audience, Mr. St. Paul. Hello, Saint. All right. Praise the Lord. Okay, we got about 10 seconds here. And we're going to be going on the air in four. Three, two, and one. Well, hello everybody. Praise the Lord. Welcome back to Facts, fashion artists creating trends and styles. I am your hostess, Noe Rice. And what you just heard is the spectacular Prince of Gospel, St. Paul. You heard his uh, single, To Be With My Lord. And he is on our show, and he's going to be talking about some really great projects he's working on, and he's going to be talking about what he's doing in the uh, fashion industry as well as the music industry. But before we get started, let's read our sponsors. Our sponsors are The Runway and Diva Unlimited Events at the GM Renaissance Downtown, Runway Style Magazine, Duray Couture, Barcelona, Spain, we have Platinum Shoe Shine and Exquisite Shoe Shine. Platinum is located on Livinois in the Avenue of Fashion, and they're open on Saturday. And you can talk to Shaman Roberts, and you can call 313-340-1322. Or you can go to his, uh, his shoe shine stand at the GM Renaissance, Monday through Friday. And you can call him at 313-268-9947. And of course, we have our sponsor, St. Paul, for your entertainment at 111 Cadillac Square, Detroit, Michigan, 48226. And if you want to call there, you can call 313-695-1763. And that is St. Paul for your entertainment. Well, all right, thanks. Let me hurry up and talk about what's happening or what has happened over the weekend. We have Fashion in Detroit on Friday, the uh, 22nd, and Friday, uh, excuse me, Saturday the 23rd. It, I was there doing press. It was a spectacular event. We had a lot of local designers who showcased their fashions, and I think they did a phenomenal job for the industry, and they showcased that we here in Detroit are a viable, competitive force to be reckoned with as far as fashion. And then also, too, remember, we're doing our Christina Benjamin Breeze contest. So if you want to participate in that contest, you can send me um, uh, a small story on what breathing or what what is breathing meaning to you to my Facebook page, No Leap Fashion Rights, or you can inbox me at No Leap at Runway Style Magazine. But anyway, that's really much it for fashion right now. We are going to be doing a segment called uh, Facts of Fashion, but we're going to start that next week. But right now, we're going to turn the show over to our spectacular guest, Mr. St. Paul. Mr. St. Paul, the Prince of Gospel. How are you today? <laughs> doing fine, thank you. I'm truly blessed. Yes, yes. I heard your uh, single, um, uh, to be with my Lord, and I thought it was really spectacular, uh, very um, eclectic, not your average uh, gospel song. Not at all. Or you start the new to the table. It's very new. I think um, you're going to have a very wide audience by um, not just having the standard uh, choir in the background, uh, the, you know, the normal gospel song Absolutely. that you hear. Absolutely. Now, just a quick question. Um, let me let me go over uh, St. Uh, Paul's bio. Uh, his life has been far from a fairy tale. He has endured many hardships uh, physically and mentally along the way, uh, you know, uh, that others couldn't even imagine going through. Uh, he has grieved the loss of his mother, who uh, was his strongest support system. Uh, he is facing uh, life with a smile on his face. I mean, look at him. He's gorgeous. He's like, I mean, look at him. He's like, he's like, he's like he's princess cousin. 
uh, you know, he, uh, he's, he's done it with strength that is unknown to many. Uh, he pours his heart into his music, and I can say for a fact that he expresses his love for his mother and the Lord. And he is a man that is truly, he loves to help, support, encourage, and teach, and strengthen others through his life and his songs. Uh, so, hey, tell us, how did you start seeing gospel, and, or were you into hip-hop or R&B? No, I, I used to be uh, in a Catholic home. I was adopted as a, as a little child, but I started out in uh, St. Francis Children's Home. Mm -hmm. And I uh, started out singing hymns straight out of the hymn book. Oh, wow. And okay. later got into gospel. Wow. Um, well, uh, was the music something you were always interested in? And if yes, uh, you know, when did you or your family take notice? You know, Ms. Wright, I've always wanted to be an uh, entertainer, mm -hmm. even as a little boy sitting in front of the TV watching the black and white movies, being Crosby, Sammy Davis Jr. Mm -hmm. um, it, it took notice then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, always wanted to sing. I can almost say that I can see Sammy Davis Jr. I mean, <laughs> if you guys, I wish you listeners could see how how St. Paul is dressed. I mean, he is, has this yeah. impeccable black suit, got the nice watch on, got the hair cut going. Uh, he looks he looks amazing, y'all. Um, St. Paul, tell me, uh, uh, what was the experience like with Aretha Franklin, and did that play a role any in your career? Oh, my God, that was a, a dream come true. She was my first celebrity who I ever worked with. I started out doing Aretha Franklin's hair, wow. those videos and commercials, Jumping Jack Flash, okay. um, Another Night video, Jimmy Lee, Good Morning America, Every Jet Showcase, wow. um, did a few magazines, Vogue magazine, oh, okay. um, Esquire, mm -hmm. and I became a personal hairstylist, but you know, she's about her business, mm -hmm. and she taught me in the business of entertainment to take take care of your business, Okay. you know, handle your business. Right, you gotta be on point in the music business. And the queen of soul, don't play. Oh, uh, <laughs> all right now, you heard that, guys. <laughs> you people in the industry want to work with Aretha, you heard that from Straight from State Poppy, don't right. play. So all you hair people, uh, makeup people, you be on your job. Yeah. Okay, um, what was the message uh, that you were trying to convey to your fans musically? What well, the message I'm trying to convey is that we live life to the fullest. Mm -hmm. Make each day count because tomorrow is not promised. Is not. Live and let live and Amen. be prepared for something new. God is bringing something new every day your way. Amen. Pay attention to the message, not the message. Oh, amen, amen. Okay, now, uh, do you think it's important to make crossover music that can be considered gospel R&B to become successful? I do, I do, because like I say, God is bringing something new to the table for all of us because the world is constantly changing. It is. It is constantly changing. You have to have an open mind and be willing to accept new artists, new music, because you never know how you might be blessed. Amen. You amen. never know. Now, also, too, um, what has helped you to focus and stay grounded? Oh, man. God's grace, God's mercy, and the love of my mother, the love she gave me was unconditional. Her name was Mrs. Amanda Glenn, and she adopted me from a childless children's home, children's home at the age of 11. Oh, wow. Uh, it took a long time for me to get adopted, but yeah. she needed a son, and I needed a mother, and she gave me that unconditional love Beautiful. and sent me to voice lessons, piano lessons, cosmetology school, just to make sure I would be able to take care of myself. Beautiful. You know, she lived to be 93 years old. Amen. And she oh, always taught me that we didn't come here to stay, we just here on Bower Time. Mm. And, you know, she told me she was ready to go home to be with the Lord. We mm. talked about it, and I had to make up in my mind that this is not a good quality of life for her at the age of 93. Yeah. And to be strong and let Mama go, but to rejoice. Mm -hmm. Rejoice. She lived her whole life to be with Christ. And Mama, you are on your way, and I will see you there. Oh, wow. Amen. Absolutely. Amen. Well, also, answer me, uh, you're such an inspiration to others, uh, but who has inspired you musically? Musically? Mm -hmm. The Queen of Soul. Okay. Mr. Aretha Franklin, All right. the soulful singer, she is absolutely phenomenal. Yes. Uh, Aretha Franklin, Patti LaBelle, um, let's see, uh, Mr. Kurt Franklin, I love Mr. Kurt Franklin. Okay. Okay, uh, Prince, well, Luther well, Vandross, okay. uh, for sure Prince. Mm -hmm. um, but artists like those that really inspire me and, and to be different and to be myself. Okay. Absolutely. Now, uh, now turning the show a little bit into fashion, we all we always know that music industry and fashion go hand in hand. Um, you have a fragrance and you have uh, a shirt. Yes. Okay. Yes, absolutely. I came up with a fragrance called St. Paul Experience. Oh, okay. And uh, I created this fragrance for people to experience my lifestyle, what it is that I like, the, the different smells and scents that go along with uh, entertaining. And I'm talking about fruit, citrus smelling, fresh shower scents. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is very, very phenomenal. If you spray it on, your life will change. Oh, wow. I'm telling you, and the shirt, the shirt is created because uh, everywhere I go, people wonder, where did you get that suit? Mm -hmm. God, he looks so great in his clothes. So I said, why not start my own line of clothes? St. Paul Collection. St. Paul.
Congratulations, y'all. So I designed a shirt, and it is a white French cut shirt. Mm. And it is for the entertainer in you. Okay, you hear that, guys out there, you stylists, you models, the entertainer in you. Um, quickly, uh, are you going to be performing anytime this week? I will. I will be performing at uh, Bert's Place okay. on Saturday. Okay. And I will be performing at, let's see, uh, Flood. Okay. Sunday night in Detroit. Okay. Um, and also Harbor House on Friday night. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Well, you heard it, guys. You can come out and check out St. Paul's. He will be performing. He has a, a fragrance. And he also has a special, you say, what are we going to do for our listeners today? Oh, my goodness. I have coffee mugs here. Okay. And uh, this is a St. Paul coffee mug, so Ross and Trizzles, all the way from New oh, York. Wow. Design uh, with my picture on the front and uh, giving these away as well. Okay. Well, now you heard it there. So if you come to uh, St. Paul's performances, can you say your performances again? The performance place will be Friday at the Harbor House. Bird's Place on Saturday at the Eastern Market and Sunday at Flood. Okay, if you come to any of his performances, you can get this beautiful bling bling mug. Absolutely. He gave me one with his autograph. <laughs> this is the bomb, y'all. Y'all come check him out. Hot and popping for Jesus. That's right. I'm going to sign it right now. <laughs> All right. Okay. Thank you. All right. Well, look, we had a really great time with St. Paul. We'll have to bring him back so he can talk about his other projects. And remember, everyone, to always keep the Lord first and to put him first in your life. Um, I usually do a prayer to begin the show. I'm going to end the show with a quick prayer. Uh, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we ask that you bless our listeners. We ask that you keep their uh, mind and their eyes stayed on you. And we ask that you always uh, love them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. All right. Amen.